Hey there friend, thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to show you something new from Springfield Armory. It has been highly requested for many years. People have wanted this, they haven't gotten it, but that changes today. Now, I have shown this handgun, 1911 Operator. Beautiful 1911 with those G10 grips, excellent trigger, Cerakoted slide, five inch barrel, chambered in 45 ACP, ships with two Metgar magazines, and I hold this 1911 in high regard. Really love it. And then they came out with the 9mm model. Same deal. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two, but it has a GI style guide rod, all the same features with a 9 round magazine in 9mm. So what was highly requested? What What's the big deal going on today? Well, in this case, we have another 1911 operator. except this one is a bit different. See what's different? Let me get the case out of the way. This is a Springfield Armory 1911 Operator AOS. OAS stands for Agency Optic System, and that's what they have going on today. The Agency Optic System collaborated with Springfield Armory to create this optic system, not just on the operator line, but on the Ronin line and the Emissary in every model in those 1911 handgun lines. So this is the operator. This one's chamber in 45 ACP, same deal. Ships with two eight round Metgar mags, but it is optic ready. So how does this work? Because you seldom see optic plates fitting onto 1911s. You see them on 2011s all the time. And you see them on other semi-autos, but very seldom on 1911s and that's what was highly requested hey how come these manufacturers aren't creating optic ready 1911s and that's what we have today so this is the optic plate that it ships with i shouldn't say the optic plate i mean the optic cover and you can see on the cover has serrated black rear sights okay when you remove this cover it then looks like this after you add a plate and this is the agency optic system plate. It has a QR code on there and you will order the one that will fit your preferred reflex optic. All right, so this also has the sight included. It is a tall sight so you can co-witness with your dot, but that is a, a pretty sturdy optic plate. I mean, it is heavy duty. Agency Arms did not skimp out on that. And there are several. There are several to choose from, whatever your favorite optic is. So what did I go with? I went with an RMS-X. I used the RMS optic plate, and I went with the RMS-X. The X has an 80% larger window with a 4 MOA red dot in there. You can see it's, it's pretty large. But at the range, it would just it, it just did what it had to do. Uh, and I love the operator. It's been so awesome and reliable for me. This was no different, except for now I have the availability of using a red dot, which is super cool. And I'm very much excited about it because, you, like I said, you just don't see these. Now, one would guess that this would be much more expensive. Well, let me give a little breakdown. I'll get this mag out of the way. The... 1911 operator in 45 ACP has an MSRP of $1,184. Okay, the operator in 9mm has an MSRP of $1,184. All right, two for two, $1,184. So you would expect the AOS system to be more. The MSRP on the 1911 operator AOS agency optic system is $1,184. Same amount as the other two, a 9mm 
and 45 ACP. This is available. All these are in 9 millimeter, 45 ACP, four and a quarter inch barrels, and five inch barrels. The three that I own all have five inch barrels. Okay, that's just the ones I own. I wouldn't mind a four and a quarter inch, but I have the operator lined in five inch barrels. Okay, no argument. Love the handgun itself with the forward serrations, the tritium front dot, the optic ready choice, uh, many choices. Now you say, well, what plate does it come with? Once you purchase the pistol, you'll get a card or a code that will allow you to go to the Springfield store and pick up the optic plate that you want. All right, not a lot of information about that, but there are optic plates made by Agency Arms to suit your desired optic. The difference between an optic plate and using an optic versus iron sights, that all depends on the user. I, I've shot these two incredibly well, love it. If you don't want to use optics, you keep the cover plate on and basically you have the same gun, but you just have a cover plate. If you want to use optics and then you decide you don't, you put the cover plate back on. So what, what it offers are many more options available with your handgun if you go with the operator. This AOS system is also available on the Emissary and the Ronin lines. Every model in that line. All right, so that's what we're looking at. That is what is new today in Springfield Armory is delivering optic ready handguns on a 1911 platform, something that you hardly ever see, but it is now available. Love the RMX, and I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this site, and I'm very pleased with it at the range because only one time I had to hit the back of the slide. I had federal loads that were hanging up on the feed ramp just once and you'll see in the range footage that I had to hit the back of the slide outside of that it has performed excellent no different than the 9mm 1911 operator and the 45 ACP 1911 operator. And starting today, the 1911 operator AOS optic agency optic system. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.